Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Amoret Thumb Imaging. I'm going to show you today a very cheap method on how you can position your thumb, fixate it, to make it easier to do the imaging itself. If you're interested, stick around and I will show you. For those who are new, my name is Bakning and I'm an Amarai radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So as I talked before, it's, it's not easy to do the thumb imaging because if you do a hand wrist, the thumb is, is not in direct coronal or sagittal or transversal. You need to do a proper position of the thumb. Thereby, it's very difficult to straighten it out. Even though you tell the patient to straighten out the thumb, it's very easy to you know, flex it again. So I have a very cheap method here, so I will show you. Let's go. As you can see here, this was done on the hand wrist 16 channel. This is just a localizer. You can see the thumb is a little bit bent. It's, it's not easy to straighten it out. I really want to have a straight thumb. So it's easy to do the coronal, transversal, and everything to get into the joints. So this is more likely routinely. So I will show you here. So you see it's very difficult because I really want to have one straight line. So this is the, the, the method I was talking about, the very cheap method. So let's go in here. It's very easy now to get a straight line, direct coronal, very straight line on the thumb. So what we did here, we did with a popsicle stick, just a stick like this one. So it's easy to, to have this stick like this, and then you tape it. So by that, you are fixing your, your, your thumb all the way, as, as you can see here. I did this on a, a healthy volunteer. So using this coil can be a little bit, a little bit difficult because if the hand is very big, it doesn't always fit inside the coil and the thumb is lying a little bit, no, not good. Nonetheless, with this popsicle stick, you can see the thumb is a little bit more straight now. It's much easier to do the positioning. You get a direct corner, you get into the joint much better. Nonetheless, you can also use the Ultraflex mall here with the same approach. So what we did here is like a Superman positioning. We positioned the hand. As you can see here, I did some tape of the fingers so they stick together. And then I did the tape of the popsicle stick right here. And then we, we put the coil over, put the sandbag, just try to fixate it. And as you can see here, this is my collar mine. And we have some pillow here, some pillow there. And there's also important to, to try to fixate with sandbags and also be careful with the cable. It was just to show you guys, uh, be very careful with the cable so you won't break it. So let's compare those three methods. This one was not the popsicle stick. You can see it's a little bit bent, the, the thumb. This one was the popsicle stick inside the hand wrist 16 channel. And this one was the Ultraflex small 18 channel. And you can see you can compare. Nonetheless, this is a, just a very cheap method to, to straighten out the thumb, to get a much easier thumb imaging. And uh, yeah, well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. It's a very cheap method, right? Just a popsicle stick. You have something like this uh, similar at the hospital or something. So this is from the hospital, and uh, we have a lot of these for different kind of examinations. And I just found this and tried to fixate the thumb, and it seems to be working. And uh, nonetheless, before we close up, I do have a question for you. Are you using something similar for thumb imaging? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you around.